this world. Whosoever look into the law of whosoever look into the perfect law of liberty and continue in it, and be not a forgetful hearer, but the doer of the war, the man shall prosper. It is holy that you look. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, everlasting King of glory, it's not about me, it's about you, Lord. All your effort towards us, dying on the cross, resurrected on the third day, is just for us. And we have been finding it difficult to act upon this great privilege you have given unto us. Daddy, this morning, as we come to remind ourselves about this wonder-working power of your name, Lord God Almighty, who empower us in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about the speaker, nor about the listener. It's all about you, Lord. It's about the doing and act upon the world. Bible, we, Lord, we say this morning unto you, Lord, as we listen, the grace to be doer of your word will be released unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. That it will nullify every form of flesh, every form of struggling in our life this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of everything this morning, your world will be made manifold unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, because of answer. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Please have our seat. We can have our seat in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. The topic of the war that we're going to hear this morning says jubilation, the attribute of Christianity. Jubilation, the attribute of Christianity. And I'll be taking our reading from Mark 4, the gospel according to Sekman, chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. Mark 4, 16 to 17. I read in King James Version. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the war, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the world's sake, immediately, they are offended. I want us to know something. Everyone, is everyone who is full of God's word is dangerous to the devil. Everyone who is full with the word of God is dangerous to the devil. So, 
devil is always looking after such people because of the threat that you put to his kingdom. I want to tell us something this morning. The moment you profess that you are giving your life to Christ, you are a threat to the kingdom of devil. So, everything that the devil is after in your life is for the sake of the word of God. And the Bible says, John 10, 10, For the thief come and not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So, the devil is not after your wealth, it's not after your connection, it's after the word of God. And he started this journey right from the Garden of Eden. God said, don't eat this. Devil deceived them. And they act unto the word of the devil. They ate and they died. And from that, when, before God chased them away, he made another plan. Pastor was talking about alternative last week. There are numerous alternatives. Numerous alternatives. But the moment you deviate from the original word, you may mistake. I pray this morning, as we listen to the word of God, God will empower us and the efficacy of the power of God will be made manifest in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. All persecution come for the sake of the word of God. To do what? To hinder it or to stop it from being manifest. We said this year is a year of jubilation. It's a prophetic word of God. So many of us have gone to relax waiting for jubilation to come. I want to tell you this morning, jubilation has a process. Jubilation has a process. Let me take us to whenever a military operation is to be taken, there are so many strategies that will that will, that will take place. There will be numerous rehearsal because you must know the power your enemy carried. You must know the weapon they have. There will be intelligent report about the enemy. The number, the weapon, so that you will know what to use to counter their threat. At times, if you discover that the enemy is more powerful based on the, the, the number and the weapon they carry, they will be panicking in the camp. Praise the Lord. There will be a lot of panicking. So it will take the commander a lot of effort Briefing upon briefing, how you can do it, how you can do it, how you can do it, what you are going to do, what you are, how you are going to achieve. But the moment the battle is won, jubilation starts. Earlier I said it will come to pass. I want us to I want to remind us. That all the effort that the devil have been making to stop Jesus, which is the word of God, from being manifest, he has never been able to do that. And likewise, in your life, in my own life, every effort, everything that he might take, devil, to limit the power of God in our life, 
will be proved, will be proved abortive in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it will be proved abortive in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says in Hebrew 4.12, For the word of God is quick and sharp, even sharper than two double-edged soil, piercing into dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of joint and marrow. It's a designer of the thought and the intent of the heart. So, before the devil starts his own plan, the word of God know the intent. When the thought is going on in his mind, the word of God is there to design it. So what do we do? Is how, what, the only solution is how to know the right word for that occasion. For those of you that are passing one through one tribulation or the other, you will sing. The Bible said that place in uh, Isaiah 10, 10, 27. It said, it will come to pass in that day that the body will be taken off, that shall be taken away from all thy shoulder and the yoke shall be taken away from all thy neck and the yoke will be broken through the anointing. The time will come, but are we ready to go through this process? You know the story before the word of Jericho was pulled down. It's a city. You can imagine for them, for the troop to march around the city seven times for the last time. Seven times. But when they finally did, the Jericho was pulled down. As we prepare our mind to go through the process this morning, God will empower us in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God will empower us in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the process is taken from Psalm 1. And I'll be reading from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. Bless is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is the law of the law. In his law, he doth meditate in day and night. And his leaves shall not wither, and whatever he doeth shall prosper. One of the process to attain jubilation is holiness. Holiness. Pastor was telling us uh, last week that if you see how the, the Habalists and the Okoti guys, how they worship their God, the kind of dancing shoe that they put on, you'll be surprised that you, that is son of light, you cannot even do one tenth of what they are doing. And whenever they go through, you know, Bible says that, see thou a man that is diligent so it's not about Christian. It's not about anybody. It's just about the man that is diligent. If you see all the actors, even the terrorists, if you see how diligent, one of the book that we were catching, he gave a testimony that whatever you made mistake in their camp, you'll be put to death. That is why they always carried out their work perfectly. Diligence. Power of diligence. May God give us the grace to be diligent in this business in the name of Jesus Christ. 
you that want to jubilate very soon. Look out for diligent. Diligent in the word of God. Remember, I've told us that the affliction and persecution will arise the moment you hear the word of God. It will rather give you anything just to take away the word of God from you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. Bible says in Hebrew 6.18, it says that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. So bear that in your mind. It is impossible by two immutable things. It is impossible for, for God to lie. Whether you believe, whether I believe it or not, God will never lie. As he has said it, the word has gone out. He was talking, in, I think in, in Isaiah, book of Isaiah, I can't remember the, the said, as the rain come down, and, and water the ground, he said, so also, is the word that have come, come out of my mouth. It will not return to me void. He said, all valley shall be exalted, and all mountain and he shall be made low. He said, every cooked way shall be straightened. He said, all every raw play shall be made plain. He said, all flesh shall seal it all together. Because the mouth of God has spoken it. That your case. That my case. The word of God. The God himself has spoken it. And it is impossible for God to lie. See. God is not a man. That is to lie. Neither is he a son of man. That is to repent. I won't take too much of our time. What I want us to know this morning. The moment you receive the word of God, put all diligence on it. Because when the persecution, do you know if persecution could not take the, that word from you, it will bring wealth. Because so many of us are here that thousands are waiting for liberation. Our, their liberation will come through us because of little things that we are enjoying. We have forgotten the word of God. Another thing that I want us to consider before jubilation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's one of my colleagues. We just closed work that day and a slum. From that slum, he spent like a month in the hospital. He was discharged back home. After two, three weeks, the case was so dicey that he could not walk. He returned to the hospital. After three weeks, he came back again. Later, the story changed. We have to rush into the hospital. Before that night, before he was taken to the hospital, as we went there, some women, men of God, we went there. The Spirit of God just laid in my heart that why God permit affliction? Why God permits affliction? The first thing, the reason why God permits affliction is to enable you to come back to him. Because if the if the whole if the if you hold your life is rosy, you will forget about God. So God wants to draw you. And why? It's as a result of his love towards you. The Bible says, say, what manner of love has God bestowed upon us that we should be called his son? What manner of love? God bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And I'll ask 
his wife, but at that time he could not talk. That God, God, the Spirit of God is telling me that there was a vow that you made to God before you went to notice. And that when he came, when he, by the time he will return, he will do more for God. So the wife now said, this man used to be a choir in a church. That whenever he ministered, things happen. People get, people rejoice whenever he ministered. When the moment he came back from notice, he forget about it. I told the wife, say, that is all we need to know. And that is it. We will take this your husband to the hospital tomorrow. By one week, he will return and he won't go back again. So, the, the, the wife told, the, the, the wife was minister, can you, did you hear what your friend said? He said, yes. Are you going to do it? He said, yes. To God be the glory. I, 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 the moment he has said that story, the, 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 the testimony, and go, immediately, within three days, he was discharged from the hospital. And since that time, God has been faithful. Likewise, you that, that is seated here, including me, maybe what I'm going through now is as a result of what I've neglected. You will complain that it's because of your work. But you can, you can stress. Because that is what, what I normally console myself with. Monday to Friday, I'll go as early as possible and come back late. But when it is Sunday, I complain. Does God understand? No. If my boss cannot understand for, for, for me to accept myself from office one day, and I want God to understand the excuse that I am tired. May God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before jubilation, praise the Lord. The legal authority on earth is to the hand of human. That means anything that does not have control of man is in Lega on this planet. God will not interfere into the affair of man on this planet if he's not invited. And the Bible says, the prayer of a sinner is an abomination. So, holiness is vital. Holiness is vital. Praise the Lord. When God said, man should have dominion on everything he has created, he means it. So, manna came then, but I wouldn't know, but I would say don't expect manna. Go through the process. Your jubilation will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bible says in Isaiah 118. Say, come now and let us reason together. Say the law. Bible says in the book of Hebrew, I think 416. Let us go boldly. Unto the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and find help in time of trouble. So it's inviting us here in the book in the book of Isaiah 18. Come now, let us reason together. In this case, we have our high advocate before we proceed to this throne. The throne of grace, we are going to present our case. Before God. I love this. I love this. Isaiah 41, 21. Isaiah 41, 21.
Produce your cause, say the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, say the king of Jacob. By the time you get to this throne of grace, and you are asked, why should my jubilation be released? If that question is thrown at me, what would be my help? What would be my uh, uh, response? What would be your response? But I've come to tell you this morning, our high advocate, which is Jesus, is with us to plead the cause for us. And we are going to win in the name of Jesus Christ. I say we are going to win in the name of Jesus Christ. Another thing that I want the entire church to act upon is evangelism. Bible says, God was in Christ Jesus reconciling the world to himself. And he has given us the spirit of reconciliation. Any one of us, we should act upon. You know, at times when, I, when I'm in the bus, or this, I see people preaching. You know, some people, at times you look and see the, 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 the person is disturbing you. But many of them, don't, they don't care. They don't even care your comment. They don't care about what you are saying. Some will be serious noise. They don't care. They don't care about your reaction. But they are Hacking, they are diligent in God's business. Remember, for you to receive your jubilation, you must be diligent in God's business. I'll round up. Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim acceptable year of the Lord. Are we ready to do this? Then our jubilation is imminent. Some have started jubilating. You can see the way our mommy was dancing. That season has gone. This is a new season. As men that are waiting for one thing or the other. The season is passing. And, they, and your time is coming. You see, those are arrived and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her has come. Yea, the set time. The set time. The set time. That is the message. Affliction, persecution arise for the world of for the sake of the world. That is why he kept on telling us this book of the law. Meditate. He said, he said his delight is in the law of his Lord. And is in his law, does he meditate day and night? And the leaf shall not wither, and whatever he doeth shall prosper. He said, The man shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bringeth his fruit in his season. Your season for jubilation will start in the name of Jesus Christ. I talk about. Holiness and evangelism. You no know, prayer is the key. Another thing, you can go go and watch the summer of pastor. Understanding the mystery of the kingdom of God, or knowing the mystery of the kingdom of God, to back up this message. How? Much can you go 
as per the word of God. When you have it, your life will change. Nothing can counter the word of God except by you, by you. One day, there was a kind of politics in my, in my location. We were two sergeants then. So they need to pick one to go for. And you know, that location, that particular location, there's, there's no time that they will go that, that will not have casualty. At least 20% casualty. So everybody was avoiding that location. And from theater command, that we must go to that place. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The, the battalion CEO, he called on the ASA, they call it appropriate authority, that they to send a jet to bombard that place first before we enter. They said no, that we must go. So, the, the policy is now, who the, the man has started with seniority, say is the senior that I, I, will be, I will be the one to go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Meanwhile, anytime I'm in one operation or the other, I will, I will be telling them, so in as much as I'm here, nothing will happen. I know in that the way we gather, I've even forgotten the, because of the location. I've even forgotten that quote. But it was one person that, that, that I always hear that, and that, that used to hear what the, anytime I used to say that, that thing. And I said, ah, Ogasaji is here. Nothing will happen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we went, we came back. Nothing happened. That is the word of God. It's quick and sharp. Even sharper than two edged double sword. Piercing. There's nothing that it cannot penetrate into. I want us to read the amplified verse of that uh, Hebrew, if you have it, amplified version. That Hebrew 12. Praise the Lord. Do, do you have it? I want us to read it as we close. Praise the Lord. When you get to read it, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us stand up. Let us stand up. It will come to pass in that day. It will come to pass in that day. What do you want to come to pass? Because this is a season of jubilation. Think about it as pastor will pray. What do you want to come to pass? What do I want to come to pass in my life? I was pondering on the word of God recently. Say, ah, see what I've suffered. See what I've suffered. I die no. I want to point something to those that are married here. Make sure you and your spouse always come to agreement. There's a blessing. You say, whatever two shall agree. Ah, I suffer. Kai. 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 Don't go through it. Ah, agreement. And the devil is ready to fight your agreement. He will trouble it. He will not allow you to agree. Because you know that the moment you agree, jubilation will spring up. Bible says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it will spring up. What do you want to come to pass? Tell it. Present it to God. He said, preserve your cause. Says the Lord. Bring out your strong reason. 
we are on the throne of grace this morning. Our advocate is with us here. As we present our case, we will be discharged and acquitted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Kalama. Present your case. Open your mouth. Present your case. Your advocate is with you. He has never won, he has never lost any case. Look at it throughout the Bible. He has never, in your own case, he will not lose. In my own case, he will not lose. Open your mouth and begin to present your case. We are on the throne of grace right away. Present your case. Bring out your strong reason. Present your case before the God Almighty. Oh Lord, we thank you.